Hello everybody and welcome back to a brand new video. My name is Nalo and today's video is going to be taking a look at five investments that are coming up for the summertime in CSGO. It's no secret that the CSGO market hasn't exactly been doing very great recently, however I do think going into the summertime season of 2022, we're at least going to see some sort of rises on certain skins, and so I figured I'd make a video talking about what you should prepare for when that time comes. I know we're still a couple months out from summer, but it's always good to be prepared. And if you're looking to get prepared for summertime investing, there's a great website you can visit known as ShadowPay. ShadowPay is a third-party marketplace for CSGO skins. They have a massive inventory of CSGO items. They're extremely trusted, as you can see by their Trustpilot rating. They have an instant sell feature that allows you to instantly get money for your skins if you don't want to wait for somebody to buy your listing on the market. They also have an extension that they offer that allows you to do secure player-to-player -player trades. And of course, if you're not looking to sell skins, they do have very many for purchase. Furthermore, because you are a Nalo fan, you can go over to ShadowPay and use my code NALO to get a deposit bonus on the website. They also offer a large variety of payment methods, so they're a great one-stop shop to go to for all of your CSGO skin needs. Check out ShadowPay using the link in the description below. Thanks. So let's move on to the summertime. So the first thing I wanted to talk about is flipping items during summertime. Since there's a Steam summer sale, historically at least, there's been a lot of people who have sold their skins off for pretty cheap in order to buy games, and then once those skins are scooped up, people then resell the skins for a higher value. This is always really dependent on what games actually go on sale during the summer sale, because if the summer sale is fairly weak, then skins won't be selling as much. However, in recent years, it also seems that people have not really cared too much about the summer sale games and have kind of just held onto their skins, keeping the prices pretty high. But I do think 2022 is going to be a little bit different for flipping skins. The CSGO market hasn't really been doing that great, and the player count hasn't really been doing great either. As a result, a lot of people have kind of left the CSGO scene as a whole. Some of those people have cashed out, some of them haven't. And with the masterpiece of a game known as Elden Ring actually being released on Steam, I think we have sort of a recipe concoction here for a really good summer sale time to flip CSGO skins. I do think there will be people that don't really care too much about CSGO but still have skins available that will be selling their skins for cheap during the summer sale in order to buy games like Elden Ring if they go on sale or even if not. So I think flipping is a viable strategy this year. Obviously we won't know until summertime comes around, but it's possible. Now the primary skin that's usually used for flipping during the summer sale is AK-47 Red Lines. These are very liquid and a lot of people will tend to trade their bigger items for AK Red Lines to sell them faster. This means that AK red lines tend to go down quite a bit and then they kind of stabilize after the summer sale concludes. So I would go ahead and say that AK red lines are probably still going to be a pretty good option. And if you're looking to flip skins during the summer sale, these are probably going to be your primary option. The AK-47 Slate, however, is also very similar and very popular, so I do think that will also be taking a bit of the spotlight. And of course, many other skins will probably be good flip options like the AK-47 Frontside Misty, Op Asimovs, basically anything that's pretty liquid. So that's kind of the number five spot, is flipping skins and the skins that I mentioned being the best ones. The number four spot is going to go to new Operation skins, particularly from Operation Riptide. If you look at this like a hierarchy, any type of influx of money that's going to happen during summer towards the Steam Community Market is generally going to start with more recent skins. So this is kind of an option for if you think that summer sale is going to cause more people to buy into skins. Since the Dreams and Nightmares case was not exactly exactly that big of a deal, and more of the big skin releases were from the Operation Riptide, I think that's going to be one of the main targets for people spending money during the summer sale. And we should see some sort of a bump on their prices. Operation stickers might also be an interesting option here, but I think the skins are really going to be the one that people are actually looking for and have demand for. If your opinion leans more on the side of people selling skins instead of buying them, I think you're still going to want to at least look at Operation skins as well. Again, since these are the more recent skin releases, it's more likely that active people have them, which would mean a higher likelihood or more potency of these items being sold. If you're on the side of people putting more money into the economy, then go with high tier operation skins. And if you're on the side of people quick selling more during the summer sale, go for lower tier operation skins. So look towards new operation skins for the number four spot. The number three spot is going to go to low tier knives. This may seem like a weird area to target, but there is logic behind it. When it comes to high tier knives, people that own them are going to be collectors or, or people that are more interested in spending money in CSGO and having a large holding in item skins. Low tier knives, on the other hand, actually tend to be owned by people that don't really care as much about them or don't really care too much about CSGO. Furthermore, a lot of these low tier knives tend to be around the 80 to 60 to 100 range, at least after Steam market tax, and many game titles tend to be around that area as well. So you can kind of see how this would line up. There might be some discounts on low tier knives during the summer sale, so it's something to check out. Keep in mind that people that are more likely to sell these low tier knives are people that only have a low tier knife. So by that logic, look towards the ones that are good value for the money. Stuff like really low tier skin bayonets. Basically knives that are a lot of bang for your buck. Obviously, 
this is under the pretext that summer sale is a good time for people to sell their skins in order to buy games. The number two spot's going to go to something that's been a hot topic in the investing community, and that's tournament stickers, specifically the ones from the more recent years. It's no surprise that there's a lot of people that have very large holdings of the stickers, the very large quantities of them, and I think some people are going to be either taking their profit or they're just going to be moving out of that investment during the summertime as well, as they are encouraged to sell them in order to buy games or other discounted skins. So I think that's something to look at as well. I think RMR will see another dip. There's probably going to be people that are finally just fed up with RMR's performance and are just going to sell them off. And Stockholm may see sort of a jump if people want to move from RMR into Stockholm stickers. But there's also an equal chance that Stockholm stickers will just decline as people try to move out of that investment and take profit. And of course, with that logic, there's also a chance that they don't really move at all as the buyers and sellers kind of balance each other out. So Stockholm has more unknown factors and RMR, I think, is probably just going to decline. I also want to take one quick note to just say to make sure to also look at Katowice 2015 stickers. I keep stressing these because these stickers look very, very nice and a lot of people are into them and I do think that they still have opportunities to go pretty crazy. Not saying it's going to be great this summertime specifically, but I do think they are something to watch out for. Anyway, that's basically going to wrap up the number two spot, so let's move on to the number one spot and end this video off. The number one spot is going to something that you could have already probably expected, the PGL Antwerp Major 2022. And again, I'm probably completely butchering that name, sorry. Anyway, this major obviously is going to release new stickers, and as we've seen from the Stockholm Major, that was pretty good. Will Antwerp be able to do that good? I would actually say no. Stockholm was a big lesson learner for a lot of people that expected it to just go the same way as RMR. And as Stockholm prices climbed higher and higher and higher, more and more people gained the fear of missing out. By that line of logic, PGL Antwerp sticker releases are probably going to be a little bit worse off than Stockholm in terms of potential investment profit. People aren't going to make the same mistake twice, basically. However, I still think there's going to be availability here for profit. Obviously, we don't know what the stickers look like yet. They could look like absolute trash, and there's going to be no potential here whatsoever. But we'll assume that they go in the same sort of line as Stockholm, and they actually end up looking pretty good. So, to sum it up, I think there's going to be profit potential here with PGL Antwerp. I don't think it's going to be as good as Stockholm, but I still don't think we're going to be in RMR territory, unless the overinvesting is way crazier than I'm expecting. So yeah, we don't actually know what the stickers look like yet, we just know that there's probably going to be stickers, and PGL Antwerp happens in May, which is the summer, so that's an investment opportunity that I wanted to talk about for you guys. Further into the summer, we're probably going to see continued rises, so I think it's perfect for the number one spot of this video. Make sure to keep an eye on it, and I'm probably going to be uploading more content around that time as well for that specific tournament. Anyway guys, that's going to close off the list. Hopefully you enjoyed it. I think there's a lot of good picks here. I also wanted to give a quick little shout out to Ra on Twitter. He has a little quick Twitter thread about summer investing, and I think it's worth giving it a look. His opinion differs from me on this summertime investing, but I think it's good to get multiple different opinions, and his is definitely well structured. So if you want an opinion that differs from mine on summer investing, go look at his Twitter thread. I'll leave a link in the description below. Anyway guys, thanks again for watching. Make sure to subscribe to my channel for the best investment content anywhere else on YouTube. Be sure to check out my Discord server and also my Twitter account with the links in the description below. And be sure to check out ShadowPay, a third party market place that you can use to get your investment skins. And without further ado, go enjoy the rest of your days. Thanks for spending some of the time with me. Peace.